Hello Year 3, it's Miss Talbot here. This is our second session now on statistics and we're sticking with pictograms. But today you're going to create your own pictogram. So before we get started, let's just recap what we've learned so far this week. So remember, your pictogram needs to have a title. It tells you what your pictogram is actually about. It also has an X axis, that's the one along the bottom here, and a Y axis, that's the one going up here. And they have labels, they give you the information that you need so you know what is on your pictogram. And very importantly, it needs to have a key because remember the pictures on your pictogram might not be one picture for one um, digit. This one you can see represents four. So each of these circles is four and I would have to count in fours to work out the right answer. Okay. Right, on to creating a pictogram. So I'm going to show you my one first. So I asked some Woodside teachers what their favourite fruit was. And I made a table below to show how many teachers chose each fruit. So if you have a look over here, you can see I've got apples, bananas, oranges, pears. And I made a little tally every time a teacher told me their favourite fruit, I gave them a line. And if you can remember tallies, we group them in fives. It just makes them easier to count. And I did the total here. So this lovely tally, this table here, I'm going to use to create a pictogram. Now this is the one I created. So you can see I have included all my key information my titles, Woodside Teacher's Favourite Fruit. And then I labelled my X axis at the bottom, Favourite Fruit. So we had apples, bananas, oranges and pears. And up the Y axis here, this information is my number of teachers. So I've also made a key. Now, I noticed that all the totals here were multiples of five. They were all in the five times table. So to make sure I was using the right key and I made it a good, simple key, I did it as five as well. So I'm not there drawing 20 shapes for apples or five shapes for bananas. It, it would take a long time doing all that and it would use up all the paper I have. So if each shape I chose squares for my one represents five, then it's a much quicker way to count. It's quite a clear way of seeing which fruits are most popular, which are the least popular. So when you're doing this, remember you're going to need a pencil. You can just use the line paper from your workbook. That's what I did. I turned it on its side and I used the lines to help me. But if you've got a ruler or something with a straight edge, that would be good too. And you don't need to colour it. I added a bit of colour at the end just to really make my pictogram stand out so you could see the different fruits and the groups. So if you've got colouring pencils, go for it as well. So on the next slide, you will see another tally, a little bit like this one, but with some different fruits. And it will be your challenge to turn a tally, a bit like the one I've got here, into your very own pictogram. So remember, you can come back to the slide and have a good look at mine, or you can watch this video again if it helps you. And try your best. Good luck.